Google Gemini 2.5 Pro is insane. Google quietly released this model a couple days ago and it is easily the best AI model out there today. You can do incredible things with it one prompt. I built this 3D Minecraft game with one single prompt. I can go around here, build anything I want with these cool blocks, switch the blocks, this was all one prompt and I have an entire 3D game. I'm going to show you in this video how you can use Google Gemini 2.5 Pro and build incredible simulations, games, apps, whatever you want, all with single prompts. By the end of this video, you're gonna have insane games like this. You're gonna have your own app and you don't need any programming experience at all to do it. This is gonna blow your mind. Let's lock in, let's go. So starting off with what Google Gemini 2.5 Pro is, it is Google's new thinking model, which means it can sit there and come up with steps on its own, think about what's next very strategically, and make sure it gives you incredible output. Here's its comparisons in the benchmark with other models. So as you can see here on a coding basis, it pretty much dominates every other model that's out there currently by a pretty large margin. Uh, based on my tests, I can confirm this is like the best coding model there is. What it's able to do with one prompt is unbelievable. And I'll show, I'll, I'll even compare this to ChatGPT in a second so you can see the difference between the two. But there is nothing that comes close to Gemini Pro right now. So, how do you access the model? Pretty simple. You go to aistudio.google.com. I'll put the link down below. Once you go there, you will see this screen here. You know, it's interesting with Google, like they create some of the most powerful AI technologies, but not many people use it because I feel like the UI is kind of weird. Not many people think to go to aistudio.google.com and use their tech here, but listen, hey, if they keep making awesome AI like this, people eventually start using it, but you have to go to their AI studio to use the model. Once you go over here, click the drop down under model. By default, it goes to the image generation. Make sure you go to 2.5 Pro. This is their beta test, and trust me, this is absolutely incredible. You can do a bunch of things here. You can mess with the temperature. There's tools for structured outputs. I leave all the default stuff by itself. You don't need to mess with the default stuff unless you get crazy technical and into it. Leave it the way it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in a prompt here to build that 3D Minecraft game using 3JS. 3JS, for those who don't know, is the best JavaScript framework for building games right now. It makes it super easy for people, even if they have zero programming knowledge, to build 3D experiences. It's really sick. So watch this prompt here. Create an interactive first-person Minecraft game using 3JS contained in a single HTML file. The game should allow users to place and destroy different types of blocks in a 3D world. Core features, so I made a list of core features here to have in the game, things like create a Minecraft-style first-person game, be able to create bricks of different types, be able to destroy them, be able to stack them and connect them with each other, use 3JS for 3D rendering in physics. I talked about the different block properties. I'm gonna put this prompt down below. Feel free to just copy this and use it for yourself and watch the magic that happens, but we're gonna hit run on this now. So you hit run, it starts thinking. For a thinking model, it's actually decently quick. Uh, I've definitely seen a lot slower thinking models out there, so the performance isn't bad with Gemini Pro, but even if it was a little bit slower, it doesn't matter. The outputs you get in here are incredible. As this is running, one thing that shocked me about AI at the moment is no one has more resources than Google. They should be number one when it comes to AI, but it feels like for so long they've been behind. It feels like they've been losing to much smaller studios like OpenAI, like XAI. It's nice to finally see the company that has more resources probably than anyone else in the AI race at the moment actually put out a model that matches their standards. This is really incredible. So as you can see here, you can see all the code being put out. It's doing it pretty quick. We're only a minute in and we're about to have the entire code ready to go. I'm going to take this. I'm going to show you how to take this code and run it. Even if you've never ran code before in your life, make sure to stick around here. If you've learned anything so far at this point in the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Please leave a like and then let me know in the replies what else you want me to build with AI. All I do in this channel is show you how to build really cool stuff with AI. All right, looks like the code generation's done. We have all the code up here. Let's see, it explains it, explains how the code works, talks about the textures, the block handling, performance, all that. Read this if this is your first time getting code from an AI. You can learn a lot about how it works. Make sure to take your time here. But let's see, let's do this. Let's copy the code so we can click the copy button. What I'm gonna show you next is an app called Windsurf. It's free, go and download it. I think it's the 
easiest to use AI code builder there is right now. It's also the first one that integrates with Gemini Pro. So make sure to download that. I'll have the link for that down below as well. But this is where we're gonna run the code. This is Windsurf. I just pasted the code in. What you're gonna wanna do when you open Windsurf is click open folder and then open a new folder you create. I just created a folder called Minecraft and then click right click and do new file and call it minecraft.html and then just paste in the code that Google Gemini Pro gave you here. And then all you're gonna wanna do now is double click on the file in your file explorer to open it up. Very, very simple, very easy to do. Once, so I refresh, I'm gonna open this up and before I get into it real quick, after this I'm gonna show you what ChatGPT does with one prompt to see what it can output to see if it can even come close to this. And then I'm gonna show you in Windsurf how to actually add more features and build more into this so we can customize this how we want. So let's go, let's click this. My, Minicraft 3D, okay, they named it. They gave me the controls here. Oh, let's do this, click. We drop into the 3D world. We have an entire 3D world. I'm using WASD here. If I left click, it puts the block down where the red block is, okay? If I hit the number keys, I can change the block type. Let's see, yep, drops the block down. And then I think if I right click, it'll destroy. Yep, destroys the block I'm looking at. So if I was artistic, which I am not, I can build really, really cool things here. And I mean, just looking at this, this was one prompt. I built an entire 3D world. Like imagine if I would have sat here and prompted over and over again. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's go back and reprompt this and start adding really cool things. So I'm pulling open Windsurf again. Uh, Windsurf again, I think is the coolest AI coder out there. Back in Windsurf, let's choose the model. So they have all the different models here. Up to now, Claude 3.7 Sonnet was definitely the most powerful coding model. But let's get into Gemini 2.5 Pro. All right, what can we add to this game? How about, th how about this? Let's add... 3D monsters that come at us, and then let's give us a sword we can use to strike the 3D monsters. I want to make it so green zombies are in the game and walking towards me. Can we add them to the game? Okay, let's just start off, get a basic enemy in here, see what happens, see if we can build a basic green zombie. Okay, I can help with that. Adding green zombies that walk towards the player sound like a fun addition to your Minecraft game. First, you need to understand how your game's currently set up. Okay, so now it's looking at the Minecraft file. It's looking at the code. Okay, I've reviewed the code. It's a solid base using 3GS. Here's the plan to build a game. Define zombie appearance, zombie management, spawning, and movement logic. Okay, so it's going to start building out the code. It understands our code now, and it's going to start building the code out. All right, so it added 69 lines of code. Let's see the diff here. Okay. So it helps, okay, so it builds some code around the zombie. All right, let's run it. Let's run this and see what the zombie looks like. Let's refresh. All right, we're dropping in, let's see. Oh, what, is that the zombie? Is it, is it coming toward me? Let's see. I mean, does it look like the zombie from Minecraft? Not exactly, but it's definitely moving towards me. Maybe we can customize this a little bit more and then we'll add a sword in. Can I block it with the bricks? Let's see. It goes right through the bricks. Okay, so let's do this. Let's make this. Let's make the zombie a little bit more detailed, and then we'll add a sword to kill the zombie. So I can show you how you can prompt Windsurf uh, to customize your game and make it more interesting. Let's do that. So I'm back in Windsurf, and you can talk to the AI just like a human being. So over on the right hand side is Cascade. Again, it's its AI chat. We can say, okay, let's make the zombie more zombie-like. Can you add zombie-like features to it, like a scary face? All right, and you, again, you can just go back and forth, talk to it like it's your developer employee and have it build cool stuff. So say, hey, just build us a zombie face, make it look more zombie-like and spooky. So it's gonna modify the zombie. It's gonna apply some changes to it. As you can see, it's going through all the lines of code very fast, adding and deleting code as it goes along. All right, looks like it's all done with the zombie. Let's go back in and see what the zombie looks like. All right, so let's look around, let's see where it spawned. There it is. <laughs> it's, it's certainly got a face. Listen, it is kind of funny that Gemini uh, built this entire 3D world in one prompt and it's taken two prompts to get a zombie to look like that, but whatever. It's pretty amazing. In just one prompt, we had an entire 3D world where we could build things with bricks. Couple more prompts can now have enemies and weapons. Now imagine if we spent an entire weekend building this out, what we could do. We could have a pretty amazing game. Let's real quick see what ChatGPT can do. So let's take the exact same prompt. I'm curious. 
Let's take the exact same first prompt and put this in chat GPT and see what we get just to compare the two. So I'm in chat GPT, we're in, we have the 4.0 model, which is there, they just updated it, so it's newer. We're gonna hit enter, we're gonna take whatever code it spits out and we're gonna see what it gives us just for comparison's sake. All right, so it's building code. I do like the, the chat GPT interface, especially when it's building code. I think they call it Canvas, right? Where they have the chat on the left uh, and they give you the code on the right so you can chat and edit the code in real time, basically with a partner. The UI is better, right? I, I'll give it to that. And again, with Google, they got to work on the user experience. I think they have the best model at the moment, but why do I have to go to like AI studio? They should have like Gemini.com, right? That they own and it's easy to get to. It's easy to remember and you can easily edit it. And it's just little touches like this canvas that make chat GPT probably the best user experience at the moment. All right. So we have the code ready. Let's copy the code. Let's see what we get. I'm going back into windsurf here. Let's just paste it in. So I'll paste it in. I'll hit save. Let's see what we get. One, one go here. I'm going to refresh. Let's see what we get in one go. And it's broken. This is the, the screen you get when uh, 3GS is broken. This little gray ball at the bottom there in the white screen. So they can't even give you an experience in one prompt. It is a completely broken experience in one prompt. While Gemini in one prompt gave us uh, something incredible, which again, I'll show it to you right here. Let's command Z this uh, and then hit save. And then... Again, one prompt, you got like an amazing 3D world. So uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro, I'm telling you, this is probably the best AI model at the moment, especially when it comes to coding. If you're looking to get ahead in AI, you need to be using the latest technology. You need to be building with the latest technology. And right now, Gemini 2.5 Pro is that. You need to be playing around with it. Go in. Think of an app idea. If you don't have any app ideas, chat with the AI. Say, hey, this is my audience. This is what I like. This is what I enjoy. What is a challenge I can solve in this area? It'll give you ideas. You can build one of those ideas. I'll have links for everything you need down below. Make sure to hit subscribe down below. Leave a like and let me know in the replies what you want me to build next. All I do is build really cool AI stuff on this channel. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.